So today on Star for Garage, we're gonna be deep cleaning this Chevy 2500 that was used on a farm, and it's specifically a goat farm. Um, but the owner of this one in particular loves smoking cigars. So this thing has a ton of cigarette ash or cigar ash for that matter. It's covered from head to toe in dirt. This thing just, it smells like an ashtray, but we're gonna be pulling everything out of it, getting this thing deep cleaned. So that way this thing looks like new at the end of the video. So if you guys are new, hit that subscribe down below. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let's get started with the detail. Now, like I mentioned in the beginning, this thing was smoked in heavily, and this is all the cigar wrappers that were piled underneath the seats once we pulled those out to truly get an idea of how much dirt was inside this truck. Now, in all my videos, I talk about the process, I talk about the steps and the different things that I do first and that I do last when it comes to detailing cars and trucks. And that is why I'm offering a free PDF download checklist for you guys. If you head over to foxclean.com, it's no purchase necessary. You just gotta sign up for the mailing list and you'll get the free PDF in your email box to download today. Um, but also when you go to FoxClean, if you guys need microfiber towels, detailing brushes, all that stuff's on there for you to check out and pick up so that way you guys can keep your car clean and also like I mentioned follow along on that PDF so that way you guys know the process that I follow when it comes to my details to get the job done right. Now with any detail, I always talk about vacuuming is like 80% of any job. If you can just vacuum your car, you'll be surprised at how well it stays clean. Obviously there's tons of other stuff you can do to get that extra 20%, but as you can see with just vacuuming this truck out, 80% of this job is already done. It just makes the car look 10 times better. It makes it look like it should. It just, it looks so, it looks new. Um, vacuuming is the biggest thing that you can do when it comes to maintaining your car.
Now, when you saw these before shots of this rear bench, it was covered in tons of stuff when it comes to, you know, taking care of a goat farm. Um, but you can see where the rust, there's green mold, there's tons of just residue on this rear bench. And I'm gonna show you guys what I do to get those things clean to make them look like new towards the end of this video. When it comes to floor mats, I always recommend getting a set of WeatherTech or any sort of rubber or plastic floor mats. They're just so much easier to maintain. They stay cleaner no matter what climate you live in, whether it's you know the snow or if you're in the sun and you're tracking sand inside your car. Plastic floor mats are the way to go. Um, if you keep your car super clean, cloth floor mats kick butt. They always look nicer. Um, but plastic ones always are for the win. I always recommend them, especially if you have any sort of kids that get in your car or if you're just climbing in your car, if you work in like a dirty environment, they're so much easier to maintain and clean. You can just pressure wash them off and clean them. It's so much easier. Now for the rear seats or even the front seats for this matter, um, I'm just using an all-purpose cleaner to get the smoke residue off and the heavy caked on grease and then I'm using my drill brush which you guys can pick up at foxclean.com as well um, just to agitate and get that goo that's been collected on top of these things removed, wiping clean with a microfiber towel and then we're going to be following with a leather conditioner to help restore the, you know, the shine of a seat and that dull finish but also help protect it from any future abuse.
Now here's that front seat completely covered in leather conditioner and it looks amazing and it's got a little bit of shine to it because it's still drying out but the bottom is more dry than the top and you can see just how much better it looks after being cleaned up. Now one thing to keep in mind, and this goes for cloth, but mostly leather seats, is you can only clean it so much. And that's not to say that you can't clean it you know, frequently, but I can't go too hard at it with my drill brush or any leather cleaner for that matter, because what'll happen is, is any leather nowadays is pretty much plastic, but what you can do is you can start pulling that dye out of it as well if you clean it too much. So for this one, I did my best at getting rid of all those rust stains, and majority of them did come out, but that one in the center was very troublesome and I wasn't able to get it completely removed um, just for that reason. I didn't want to remove too much of that dye. So I did the best job I could with removing it, doing two passes, um, but just by getting rid of most of it, it did clean it up quite a bit and make it look pretty good.
Now for the dashboard and all those nooks and crannies, I used detailing brushes later on, but the first step that I employed was using the steam cleaner because it allows me to get into all those nooks and crannies, kind of get some of that tar buildup from cigar smoke or cigarette smoke for that matter. Um, off those different pieces, those buttons, those switches, everywhere around the car needed to be steam clean on the dashboard just to get a lot of that dirt that gets into those little fine edges, especially on a farm truck or any dirty, dusty car. It's really hard to get all of it clean, but the steam cleaner helps out a ton with blowing it out, moving it around, so that way when I wipe it down with my microfiber towel and all-purpose cleaner later on, I make sure I get to all those spots. It's kind of hard to see here, but you can see this tar buildup on the steering wheel, and you can use all-purpose cleaner and a microfiber towel, but the steam cleaner helps with you know heating it up, loosening it up, and making it a lot easier to clean, especially in that leather stitching. Now for the door panels, I'm using the same process as the dashboard, starting out with the steam cleaner and then all-purpose cleaner on the rest of the door panel. And that includes that fabric insert, which is heavily greased up and dirty. Uh, spraying all-purpose cleaner, using my detailing brushes to agitate that carpet around, and then a microfiber towel to kind of soak up that dirt and wipe it clean. And the main reason why you want to do that is any of those door panel inserts, and the same thing goes for headliners, it's just glued on fabric. So you don't want to oversaturate it. You don't want to work it too hard. No reason to use an extract or anything. So the best thing to do is, you know, agitate it with a detailing brush and then wipe it clean with a microfiber towel.
Now once I clean the pedals and got the rest of that dirt off the car, the last step I like to do is then do the carpets and do the extraction on the floors. For this truck in particular, um, I was doing the extraction and my memory card decided to crap out on me. Um, so I was lucky enough to save the footage from this full detail up till, till now, um, but I did lose a few segments where I cleaned out the cup holders and did the extraction and I had to switch memory cards for the final step, which was using my glass cleaner to clean the glass. Um, I have this reach tool that I use in particular for the glass and I would say it is a lifesaver, especially getting into all those tight to reach areas in the front and then this goes for rear sedan windows as well. Um, but I had to do three different passes with three different microfiber towels to get the glass completely cleaned because it was covered with such a large thick film of dirt and then also just cigar smoke. So you can see here how much better it looks at the end of before and after on the rear and the front glass just from cleaning. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, make sure you head over to Fox Clean after this video, pick up any detailing supplies, but also sign up for that mailing list so that way you guys can get that free PDF detailing checklist. That way when you detail your car, you can follow along, make sure you don't miss any spots, and so that way your car is looking spotless by the end. So thank you guys again for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you're new and give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.